In this video, we're going to focus on the line chart vertical streaming in Chart.js and this is a part of the Chart.js plugin streaming series. So let's start and explore here what we have so far. We have here basically our bar chart and this is the bar chart here. And there are a few things that we can do here. So let's imagine here, for example, we want to add up here a data set before we even convert it into a line chart. Well, how to do this? Well, if you understand this code here, it will calculate based on each data set that, that there is. So what we need to do here is just to duplicate this data set here. I'm going to grab this, put a comma, paste this in here. Then we can say here number of sales, doesn't matter. And I'll just change the color here. Make this uh, bluish, very nice blue. All right. And once I save that, and then I refresh, you should see now two different bars. All right. So this is quite nice here, but of course you can see here the tooltip, and this is the only warning here. Having the tooltip and you know, using two data sets in this setup, where you have a vertical scrolling, creates a bug here. As you can see, it shows, and then it appears and disappears. Basically, it was appearing, but somehow it made everything transparent. All right. So I would say this part, don't use this too much, or at least for now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to convert it into a line chart. And once we do a line chart, just make this mark line, save this, refresh. You can see here, we have now our line chart. But there's a one problem here, which is we have to hover over these dots specifically, just like the bar chart, but the bar chart is still quite large, which is fine. But this one here is very, very hard. So what we want to do here is at least to have a far more easier way to have the Hoovering, and especially you want to see both points immediately. So in the next video, I'm going to focus on how to do that. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box, the link directing to my Chart.js course, where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.